Everybody, we are in Oxford, Mass, and we're talking with Chris Doty, a uh, candidate for governor. Chris, tell us briefly um, why a successful business person should be in the corner office in the Commonwealth. Well, it's the executive branch um, of government, which is the has responsibility for a $50 billion budget, 40,000 employees, our state government is complicated almost on every level. If you think about the MBTA, the RMV, the universities, there's just so much complexity. And traditionally we've hired for governor, someone that comes from an, an executive background that's accustomed to running large complex organizations. And that's my background. I'm the only candidate in the race that's actually created jobs. And that's an important part of what a governor does is the economy and bringing jobs in. The, the, my opponents have no experience creating jobs. And so I bring that to the state house. Mm, we're talking about tourism earlier. And there's so much here to offer in Massachusetts that the money is going to going to Myrtle Beach. It's going to, to the Jersey Shore. It's going to the Outer Banks. We should be keeping uh, some of that money here and bringing people from other parts of the country into Massachusetts, right? Oh, absolutely. We used to be top 10 for tourism dollars. Right now, we're the 21st in the nation. So we went from A to a C student over the last couple of decades. We want to fix that. We want to get back to the top 10 in tourism dollars. And the way we do that is through accountability and holding people responsible and having a good organization chart and have the right funding and the right message and collect data on who's coming and how we bring tourists here. Yep, I think we should here. have the greatest uh, boom in tourism that we've seen in our state. And we want to bring that to the state house. Yeah, and you know, you live on the way to the Cape, you're from Rentham, so everybody from Central Mass passes through there at one time or another on their way to the Cape, but there's so much natural beauty there that is not uh, available in other parts of the country. Oh, at all corners of our state, from the Berkshires, the beauty of the Berkshires, to the North Shore, the Cape for sure, but Central Mass and the way we have agriculture mixed in with our small towns, our quaint little cities, we should really have uh, just so much tourism. We have so much tourism opportunity here in the great state of Massachusetts. Mm -hmm. And Massachusetts, it has been for the last 25 years or so, basically a one party state. And why is it important that not all phases of government are run by people from the same party? Well, traditionally we've hired re Republicans for the executive branch, or what I would call fiscally responsible people. And uh, I think that's necessary because the legislature is very progressive. They have a lot of things they want to spend money on, much more than even the uh, size of our state government. And uh, we need someone that can look at the cost of things and the long-term impact of making decisions, and someone that can pump the brakes when we need to pump the brakes to make sure that we have sufficient funds to do all that we need to do. It creates a balance that's necessary both in government and in life, that there is things we want to do, but also to make sure that we have the funds to do it both short term and long term. And so by having both parties, it's worked well for our state. We want to keep that. We've seen over and over again in America when we didn't keep the balance, when a state lost the balance, it created huge problems. Look at California. I was just there. If there's homelessness throughout, Oregon has a huge drug problem, Washington, Illinois, but other states, uh, even Texas, which is too far to the right, perhaps has gun problems. And so keeping the balance of discussion is critical for good governance. And checks and balances. Checks and balances, yes. Period. Uh, how about primary? A lot of people don't know what the date is, but uh, it's you got an opportunity up. to uh, tell us. Yeah, September the 6th, so the day after Labor Day. So. When you get back from Labor Day and uh, you're drying off the beach towels and getting sand out of your shoes, it's the day after is the primary. And we need as many people as possible to come out to vote for that. We hope we can count on uh, all the, uh, the Republicans and all those that are the fiscally responsible citizens in our, of our state to come and vote for us. Thank you so much.